Good morning. Well, this is not what you wanted to hear today if you're a Duck fan. Um, this is the day after talking Duck Sports with Randy the War Duck. And uh, if you just woke up and all of a sudden you see that your coach, Dan Lanning, may be the next Alabama head coach, you're in a state of panic. So the reports from this uh, site from uh, Sports Illustrated is that Dan Lanning is in Tuscaloosa right now, which means he is interviewing for this job. Uh, Alabama said they were going to make a decision in the next 72 hours, which is uh, also another bad sign for Oregon because if you have your coach down there and they're making a they're making an announcement in 72 hours about their coach, then that's not really good. Uh, this is just really bad for Oregon fans considering we've had this uh, coaching carousel going around. Uh, you know, we had the coach for one year, two years, two years. Now this guy, Dan Lanning, was here for two years. And, um, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. You know, Dan Lanning this says that Oregon was his forever job. He moved his family here. Uh, there's no reason to ever leave. But uh, when you go down and you're interviewing in Alabama, it's just a bad look. It doesn't mean Dan Lanning will take that job. Maybe he's just doing his due diligence. But as an Oregon fan, your hearts have to be in your throat because this is just a scary, scary time. It's also really, really bad timing for Oregon to lose a coach if that were to become true, especially when, you know, you just signed your highest um, recruiting class at number three ever in history, and that class will surely fall apart if Dan Lanning goes, not to mention the fact that you don't really want to be bringing on a brand new coach when you're making the transition to a whole new league in the Big Ten. That just makes it that much worse. Um, on top of that, Oregon was really set up to make another run next year, they have a whole bunch of guys that said that they are returning for either senior season, like Jeffrey Bassa, you know, Tez Johnson, Jordan Birch. Uh, you just have a lot of guys. I'm sure there's more, but right now my brain's all over the place. Um, but there was just a lot of guys coming back to make this other run, you know, to play for Dan Lanning and to, to push Oregon in the, the Big Ten Conference. And now... All that is in jeopardy, and even you know, um, as a recruit, so you have to be looking at this really closely because I already heard there was one five star for Alabama that already decommitted because um, of you know you have Nick Saban retiring and, and nobody really knows what's going on there. Plus, if you just wanted to play for Nick Saban, there's that. Now for Dan Lanning, looking at this Alabama job as a stepping stone or the final thing is. I don't know if it's a career move, really a smart one at this point. I think this job following Nick Saban is going to be really tough because Alabama is not going to be putting up with one or two lost seasons and no championships. Sure, you can make the 12-team playoff, but if you're not winning SEC titles and you're not competing for national titles right off the bat and consistently... Um, they are not going to keep you around, especially after the success they had with Nick Saban, which makes this job really that much harder because the expectations of you following suit right off the bat um, are just so much higher. Uh, I think this is a better job for anybody one or two coaches later <laughs> or a few years from now. Um, but if you look at the history uh, coaches that follow big time winners don't do so well. You can look at Ohio State. Uh, you can look at Penn State. You can look at uh, several other schools. Um, and it's just kind of always been, you know, that, that downhill thing. Even even Michigan, you know, they, they had all those titles and then they took some time where they weren't all that great. Um, I think Oregon, as at this point, it's still a better job. I may be green and yellow blind, but I'm thinking that you're building a, a team and that they're giving you the time you need to take some losses and to learn. Dan Lanning's a super young coach, still makes some mistakes. And I don't know that Alabama would really put up with that for very long, where at Oregon, um, you're kind of at a point where you can kind of stay as long as you want. Especially like as an Oregon fan, I really 
No, I didn't really care that Willie left. I didn't really care that Mario left. I didn't really like them as coaches. Um, but Dan Lanning, I felt like he really connects with fans and everybody else. And I really felt like he's, you know, a, a coach that I can stay behind and get behind as an Oregon fan. And, uh, yeah, I think this is super scary for, for Oregon. Um, and if you're a Duck fan, I, I, I don't know where you're at with this. Um, I made, I'm, I, you know, I'm actually going to be late for work if I don't wrap this up, but I wanted to get this video out just because I woke up to this news and it just struck me really hard. And yeah, I just, I, I hope Dan Lanning, um, I, I hope what he had been saying about Oregon, about this is his home, I hope that all is true and it wasn't just coach speak and lies like in the past that we've had with the other people saying kind of the same thing. Um, this is a super devastating news if if Oregon were to lose Dan Lanning. It would just be super devastating for fans, for the school, for Oregon football in general. And I just hope it's not true. I hope no matter what, Oregon just, I don't care if you have to double Dan Land salary, triple Dan Lanning salary, quadruple Dan, I mean, make Dan Lanning the highest paid coach in the world. I don't care what it is you need to do, but you need to keep Dan Lanning at Oregon and not let this happen. Um, Oregon fans, what do you think? Like, like, I don't know, like, okay, scenario. Dan Lanning leaves to go to Alabama. What do you do? Because I don't know who's out there. Do you bring like a Pete Carroll back um, after he got fired from the NFL? And do you bring him back and think that hopefully he doesn't happen, you know, like what Chip Kelly did where the game passed him by and now Chip Kelly isn't what he was? Um, I know Pete Carroll had a lot of success at USC and for and, and college in general, but can he do that again? I don't know. I don't know who you go after. I don't know that Will Stein and the other young coaches at Oregon are ready for that head coaching job, but I guess, you know, maybe you promote Will Stein and try to keep that class together, at least the offensive side. I don't, and then, and then I just don't know. I, I don't know what to think. This is just not the kind of news I really wanted to hear as an Oregon fan. And I hope just, just isn't true, but I guess we'll see when this unfolds. Let me know what you think. Are you worried or is this a done deal or what do you think is going to happen? Much love all.